Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to change Minecraft's location and directory. So, uh, I want to make sure before I start that your problem can't be solved by creating a new installation. Uh, new installations will just uh, change the uh, world and mod uh, save location. So, if that doesn't solve your problem, that's what this video is for. So the first thing I'm going to have us do is go to percent app data percent and hit enter. Dot Minecraft, this is where Minecraft is stored. So, first thing we're going to do is copy that to our desktop to create a backup. I've already got one right here. Once we have our backup, we can go ahead and right click it and select cut or do control X. We want to cut it because we need to make sure it gets deleted after we move it to the new location. It's important that it gets deleted afterwards or that it's not in this location when you're done. So, I'm just going to go ahead and place it in, uh, in this folder here, just for example. It's on a different drive. And uh, since it's on a different drive, the storage space will be taken up on the other drive as opposed to the original drive. The original drive will not, will not store any of Minecraft at all. Just the symbolic link, which is no storage space at all. So once this is done copying over, we can rename it if we'd like to. If we would like to rename it, we have to wait for it to be complete here. And we can just name it Minecraft Test, for example. So this Minecraft test folder is our output here, and uh, this percent app data percent folder, where a dot Minecraft folder would be right here, that would be our um, input. So I'm gonna go ahead and type out CMD and make sure you select to run as administrator. That's very important. It will not work if you do not. So now we can go ahead and type out our link command. So mklink slash d. That is our link command. This is the specific type of link. It's a symbolic link, and so this slash d uh, just means that it has nothing to do with your drive letter. Do not change the d. Leave it as it is. And then after that, uh, once we have the symbolic link command typed out, we can just uh, type the input location and the output location. So make sure you do this in quotations. So quotation, quotation, space, quotation, quotation. And in the first set of quotations, we can um, just put the start directory so that's going to be percent app data percent like we talked about earlier backslash dot minecraft and then the output location you can actually just get by going to the output folder here opening it and then selecting the box here and copying that and then pasting that between the quotations here now we can just hit enter and as long as there was not a folder here beforehand there is now going to be a folder there it's going to have an error on it because it's going to link to the new folder. Now, for the most part, your system can't really tell the difference between these two folders. So, if I were to just create a, a document in this folder, it will also create a document in this folder. There is no storage space being taken up in this folder. It's all just being pointed to uh, from this folder here. So, everything in here is actually just in this folder. So, no storage space is being taken up. So um, I'm going to delete this here, and uh, and now it's going to work. Uh, we can launch Minecraft, and it'll run off of this hard drive here, but the system will think it's from this hard drive. Now, well, for the most part. Now, it can conflict with some mods. I've only had the problem with one mod ever, and to be honest, most of the time it's not really going to make a difference if you use a symbolic link. I hope I helped you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.